It's a big day, day one of Pitch Black, and your role is OCE, Officer Commanding Exercise. First things first, how are you feeling? Oh, good day, Michael. Uh, feeling absolutely excited. So this exercise has been two years in the planning, and for us to get to the day of execution uh, is the embodiment of a bunch of great work that a bunch of our people have done, uh, and to get our jets uh, airborne for day one of Pitch Black is fantastic. And you, of course, have been involved in Pitch Black before as a participant. Tell us about that. Well, you, you might not know it to look at me, but I'm getting old. And so 1991 was the first Pitch Black that I did uh, as a young flying officer and uh, the excitement of going into Pitch Black uh, for both the scale of the exercise uh, and just the unknowns that uh, come with it where we're dealing with air forces that we don't usually fly with. An exciting time and uh, get you on your toes. Well, as you say, it's the biggest pitch black ever. An officer this morning described it as pitch black on steroids, this one. Uh, 20 participating nations bringing 140 aircraft, nearly 4,500 personnel. It's quite an undertaking. Uh, it's been going for 43 years. If someone was to ask you to describe, sir, what is the, as you see it, the distilled essential purpose of Pitch Black, in as few words as possible, what would those words be? Uh, it, it's an uplift for the Australian Air Force. It's an uplift for our regional air forces, including Europe and the US. What is it that you think about Australia, and particularly Australia's Air Force, that makes us good at staging something like this? Well, Australia has a world-class air force and there's two elements that bring a world-class air force together. It's the equipment that we operate and it is absolutely top of the class. The real key thing that uh, brings our capability together is our people. Uh, and we have a phenomenal group of uh, people from our air crew, from our maintainers, uh, from our planners, from our logisticians, across every different type of mustering that we have in Air Force, uh, then we just find that there's an amazing group of people. For an outsider, it seems incomprehensible how it's actually put together. I mean, the meat and potatoes of Pitch Black. You said two years it's been in the planning. Is it like a script? Is it like, uh, does someone have to write it? And uh, if so, who gets to write the script? Yeah. So, so the way that we run Pitch Black is we run it over three weeks and each one of those weeks has a different emphasis that we'll look to train our people with. So we'll see the complexity rise throughout the exercise. So relatively simple to start with, uh, but the last week of the exercise, uh, it's fairly complex and we've built on all the lessons that we've learnt over the three weeks to be able to do those complex tasks. So it's a game and you go up levels. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> Like a... <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. okay. The cooperation that this must engender between nations, uh, does it stop when the aircraft would all fly home again, or does Pitch Black have a role in cementing cooperation after the exercise is finished? So, so a key part of the exercise is actually the relationships that we de develop. So uh, we'll see it both in the flying exercises that we do, uh, but for this exercise, then we have a couple of thousand people down at the accommodation precinct at Howard Springs to the south of Darwin. Uh, and already then uh, you see when the countries come, everyone sits at their respective yes. table, uh, and already only a couple the days in the exercise, we're seeing that uh, mingling of the countries, uh, we're seeing the relationships uh, develop, and whether it's uh, sport uh, after sunset, uh, whether it's a bingo in the tavern that's there, uh, then you'll just see those uh, barriers break down, and those relationships that will be built here uh, will be the relationships that uh, for the next Pitch Black or any other exercises as we go around the world, then people will see each other and say, hey, you're at Pitch Black 24, and that will just start uh, a relationship uh, that will solve the problems in wherever area th those people are and whatever it is that they're doing. How important is our relationship to the Darwin community, the place where we are based here? Uh, the relationship we, ha we have with Darwin is absolutely incredibly important for us uh, and the support that we've had from the Darwin community ever since we've started exercising in the top end has been phenomenal. Uh, so the way that we'll be able to pay back uh, that support from the Darwin community is uh, with two events. The first one is the Mindel Beach uh, Fly Past, which is a great event that the Darwin community can get down on Mindel Beach uh, and see our platforms flying up close and personal. Uh, and then the second event is the Darwin Open Day at the RAF base here. And that open day will allow the community to come onto the base and to see our aircraft uh, up close, uh, but more importantly, to be able to uh, talk to the crews and the maintainers of those aircraft and just be able to chat to them about what it's like being in their respective air forces. And that's where people get to take their phones out and take all those lovely pictures that they can put on their Insta pages. <laughs> true, true statement. They'll love it.